Dear student, this is the conditional distribution of case 1. Previous we have conditional distribution check here. Then case 1, now conditional distribution we have further check that we will define it. Now here, the mean and variance of the conditional distribution of x1 given x2, x3 as follows. Previous we had a journal term. Now what we have find here in this, the mean and the variance of the distribution of x1 given x2, x3. First of all, mean vector find. First of all, we have x define. Kare. What is x? x vector kya hai? x1. So x1 and the remaining given that x2, x3. So x2, x3. Now first you have single value and second you have partition hai of the variable of x2, x3. So x1 as it is, x2, x3 is pure ko humne let kar liya. This is equals to x2 vector. So for mean, mean vector. So x1 which is equals to, yaha pe aapke paas kya ho gaya? Mu1. Aur jo remaining humare paas hai, mu2, mu3, isko humne let kar liya, which is equals to mu2 vector. Now here look at this, the variance covariance matrix. So first, partition humne ki, partition kisse ho gai? x1, 1 ki terms alag, 2, 3 ki terms humare paas separate ho gai. So look at this, this is the sigma 1 square, we can write it as the sigma 1 square which is equal to the sigma 1, 1. यहाँ पे मैं sigma 1, 1 भी इसको लिख सकती हूँ. अब हमने क्या partition की? अब चेक करो, this is the 1, 1 terms, और यहाँ पे आपके पास है 2, 3, 2, 3. तो partition हो गया हमारे पास, इसको हमने किया, partition with the x1 given x2. So, this whole term which is equal to sigma 1, 2, this is the covariance, and this is equal to sigma 2, 1, this is the covariance, and this is the sigma 2, 2. Now look at this, what is the expected value? So expected value, x1 given x2 according to the given scenario. So this is the mu1 plus sigma1 to sigma2 to two inverse and sigma x2 minus mu2. This is journal we have. Now we have done what we have done here because x1 given x2 is mu1 to mu1 use. So similarly variance of x1 given x2 Sigma 1, variance kya hai? Variance which is equals to sigma 1 square, sigma 1 square, or we can say that the sigma 1, 1 minus this one. Or is pure factor ki notation ke hum kya kya sakte hai? This is the sigma 1, 1 dot 2. So, mene, uh, next, is me hamne kya kardia? Separate kardia x2, x2 hamare paas kya hai? x2, x3, x2 vector, x2, x3. So, mu2, mu2, mu3. Ye define abhi previous man aapko pata hai same yaha pe humne usko separate kiya here is the comma sigma 1 1 which is equal to sigma 1 square or we can say that sigma 1 1 similarly sigma 2 1 which is equals to this sigma 1 2 which is equals to this sigma 2 2 which is equals to this and the sigma 2 2 inverse ye kaam pe use hoga variance mein sigma 2 2 inverse inverse kaise find karte hai inverse 1 over 1 over aapko pata ki aapke paas kya hai this multiply minus inke sign change ho jata minus 2 3 square aur ye aapke paas value size it is a negative sign a gaye hain humare paas sigma 2 2 inverse a gaya similarly ab humne find karna expected value of x1 given x2 so this is the mu1 plus sigma 1 2 sigma 2 2 inverse and x2 minus mu2 these values are our Now put this value. So mu1 plus sigma1 to sigma this. This is the inverse. And this is the x2 minus mu2. After simplification, now we will simplify it. After simplification, you will get the expected value of this. After simplification. And simplification is easy. Se Just multiply over the matrices. Aapke now then find the variance. Variance of x1 given x2 or x2 may hamare paas further kya hai? x2 comma x3. So find the variance of x1 given x2. Now here is the formula of variance of x1 given x2. Is may hum further values add kare. 
पुट किए सारी वैल्यूज देन आफ्टर सिंप्लीफिकेशन द फाइनल रिजल्ट ऑफ द वेरियंस ऑफ एक्स वन एक्स टू विच इज इक्वल्स टू दिस दिस इज द वेरियंस एक्स वन गिवन एक्स टू आफ्टर सिंप्लीफिकेशन ये रिजल्ट आपके पास आएगा 